Hi. Today we will go over workflow, which can be said to be relatively simple, which helps to create new characters and connect them to an existing image, with reference to the colors of the image. We will work with a 3D pose editor node that allows us to create the desired pose and shooting angle. Within Comfy, we have already worked with this tool before through its website, so I won't expand on working with the tool, and whoever wants to, can find the previous video in the description. To install this node, simply click on the manager and install custom nodes look for 3D pose editor, install, and now you can work with the pose editor in Comfy. One of the important things is to work with correct proportions, the same ratio between the length and width in the pose editor and the latent that you create. I also use the background image where I want to put the figure as a reference to help me get the pose right. From pose editor there are three ports I use, open pose for the pose, depth and canny, in case the pose also includes the palms and we want to try to make them accurate. Here you can see the preview of the images that come out of the pose editor. We use them in the control net with the appropriate model. I divided the control net into two separate groups. I activate the control net for the hands, only that I have a pose that shows the palms, as in the example this one. A positive prompt can be left blank, and sometimes can help direct the model, and a negative prompt is very basic. Everything went into case sampler, and this is the picture we got. If you notice, the figure came out with the pose we wanted, but it is very different in style from the reference picture. To fix it and get a more harmonious connection later, I use an IP adapter on style transfer. And this is the picture we got with the IP adapter. You can see that both in terms of color and in terms of the direction of the lighting, we get a figure that looks more similar to the reference picture. We will not always get the desired pose or the correct direction of the light on the first try. So if you want to create several variations of the figure, you can choose the amount of variations in the latent batch size and then you just have to choose the desired image. With the help of the image from batch node, I send the image of the character to the group I called prepare image and mask. First of all, I transfer the image to the color match node, whose role, as it sounds, is to create a color match between the created character and the background image. I will leave a link to the color match repo. Here you can see the difference, before and after the color match. After we have matched colors, I send the image to remove background, and from here we connect the figure to the background image using image composite mask. And this is the result we get. It looks relatively good, but if we pay attention to the borders of the figure, you can see the adhesion quite clearly. To get a more harmonious combination, we need to pass everything through the case sampler again. Because we want to keep the background image, we need to perform the second pass only on the character and its borders. In other words, we are doing a kind of in-painting. This is exactly why there is the grow mask with blur node. I connect to it the mask that was already created with the help of the remove background. We will expand the mask a little and blur it. And here you can see a preview of the mask. For the almost last step, we will use in paint model conditioning. I connect the positive and negative we already have, the image of the character and the background. And for the mask I use the mask we created with the grow mask with blur. And before I connect the model to the case sampler, by passing it through differential diffusion, which will help connect everything together. And of course the denoise is lowered, you can leave it relatively high, depending of course on the result you want. And this is the result. And if you got a slightly distorted face, I also added a face detailer here, in many cases I didn't have to use it, but like in this example, it can sometimes help. So I hope you learned, and that we will meet in the next lessons, of course you are welcome to subscribe to the channel, ask questions and like if you liked. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.